The Power of Fathers As you would have observed, mothers have always been recognized and appreciated for the enormous role they play in the physical, psychological, and emotional rearing of children. While that's true, what is rarely discussed and even suppressed are the immense roles of the father. For example, people and media make more fuss over Mother's Day than Father's Day. The high decibel trumpeting in TV, print media, social media hashtags, and celebrations in schools, colleges, offices, clubs, and homes will be in the range of 90% for Mother's Day. The loud drumbeats, posters, and self-congratulations will start a week before the actual day. But for Father's Day, it will be a subdued 10% noise and will just be a fleeting mention in the media. Fathers are also taken for granted and easily made fun of. This is why many people and young children grow up thinking that a father's role is just to provide financial stability, pay the bills, fix your bike, and just be a nice handyman or bellboy around the house. Such thinking gets ingrained because the women empowerment hysteria being peddled in the media gives extraordinary importance and indispensability to mothers and downgrades or does not discuss the immense role of fathers in family and society. But the importance of fathers is more to be experienced than just discussed. Let me highlight the amazing power of fathers. Pillar of Strength studies have shown that children who have a responsible and involved father have higher IQs and general knowledge than those who do not. For example, a supportive, funny, and communicative father can give superior life lessons to their children than their mother. A firm and responsible father is a stronger pillar in the development of a child's emotional well-being as it is he who lays down the rules of the home and enforces them. This is very important as it will provide a feeling of security and inner strength to children and they will try to emulate him. So, children will model themselves after their father's character in their later life. A responsible father is a lifelong inspiration for every child throughout his or her life. Safety aspects Fathers are always paranoid about the safety of their families. They know how dangerous the outside world is more than mothers. So, fathers can also teach the do's and don't of the harsh outside world to their sons and especially to daughters better than mothers. This is because fathers know the types of dangerous men and boys who exist in the world outside. Nation building. It's responsible fathers who have struggled, slogged, and died by the millions, unsung with pitiable salaries, to make the world a better place by creating gigantic infrastructure, home improvements, and invented devices to protect and nurture their women. Every nation's infrastructure, inside and outside the home, has always been built and maintained by responsible fathers and men. It's only fathers and men who can do the countless dirty, difficult, and dangerous jobs inside and outside the home worldwide that is necessary for human survival. Look at these examples. Women can enjoy that nice hot shower, cook dishes, wash clothes, etc. because of the hard-working men who have laid the massive network of pipes to bring water, gas, and electricity into our homes and offices. Women can fill shopping carts with goodies because of hard-working men who are sweating in the background to fill those supermarkets. Women can drive those cushy air-conditioned cars or travel in trains, ships, 
and planes because of men who have built the greasy and massive transport infrastructure. The list is endless. If you look around, women are only involved in desk, administrative, or cushy corporate jobs and not back-breaking physical work. Though women, mainly feminists, loudly claim that they are equal to men and can do everything that men do, that equality demonstration is only in the fantasy world of social media, seminars, speeches, and legal gymnastics in courts. But if you observe closely, it's only after men slogged for decades and centuries and built the nation's civil, mechanical, electrical, electronic, security, and every other mighty infrastructure, inside and outside the home, these feminists have now somehow magically become equal to men. In the real world, you will never see women and feminists volunteering to be masons, plumbers, drivers, carpenters, miners, electricians, welders, fitters, repairmen, diggers, and thousands of other essential backbreaking jobs required to build and maintain a society. You will only see an occasional and rare example of women doing such difficult jobs somewhere on our planet. Have you ever seen a women-only team building a skyscraper, bridge, dam, road, railway track, etc.? Just because there is some woman somewhere on the planet who can fight alligators barehanded doesn't mean all women can do it. This automatically means only men do 99.9999% of the work needed to build and maintain a village, city, or country. This also means that the real world is a responsible father's world and hence will always be a man's world. Now let us get back to fathers. Taking credit fathers are also shy and hesitant to take credit for their enormous effort and contributions. For example, even though it's the father who planned, slogged, and struggled to arrange the finances to build a cozy home he will gladly and selflessly give that crown and their laurels to his wife, daughter, mother, sister, etc. National security also, throughout history, it's responsible men who have waged countless wars and battles and died in horrendous ways to protect their women from other male savages, invaders, and vandals. Women can sleep peacefully only because responsible men are guarding their nation's borders and streets ready to kill or get killed to protect their women and the nation from slave-trading savages. Also, in any crisis or calamity, men give priority to the safety of women and children and not men and boys. Now let us read a great poem on fathers written by an unknown amazing person. Four years old, my daddy can do anything. Five years old, my daddy knows a whole lot. Six years old, my dad is smarter than your dad. Eight years old, my dad doesn't know exactly everything. Ten years old, in the olden days, when my dad grew up, things were sure different. Twelve years old, oh, well, naturally, dad doesn't know anything about that. He is too old to remember his childhood. Fourteen years old, don't pay any attention to my dad. He is so old-fashioned. 21 years old, him? My lord, he's hopelessly out of date. 25 years old, dad knows about it, but then he should, because he has been around so long. 30 years old, maybe we should ask dad what he thinks. After all, he's had a lot of experience. 35 years old, I'm not doing a single thing until I talk to dad. 40 years old, I wonder how dad would have handled it. He was so wise. 50 years old, 
I'd give anything if dad were here now so I could talk this over with him. Too bad I didn't appreciate how smart he was. I could have learned a lot from him. Now let us listen to some quotes on fathers. Wisdom, compassion, and courage are the three universally recognized moral qualities of men Confucius. That is the thankless position of the father in the family, the provider for all, and the enemy of all, J. August Strindberg. Son, there are times a man has to do things he doesn't like to, in order to protect his family, Ralph Moody. My father didn't tell me how to live. He lived and let me watch him do it, Clarence Buddington Kelland. A girl's father is the first man in her life, and probably the most influential, David Jeremiah. My father used to play with my brother and me in the yard. Mother would come out and say, you are tearing up the grass. Dad would reply we're not raising grass. We are raising boys, Harmon Killybrew. Being a great father is like shaving. No matter how good you shave today, you have to do it again tomorrow, read Markham. A father is someone you look up to no matter how tall you grow, unknown. A good father is one of the most unsung, unpraised, unnoticed, and yet one of the most valuable assets in our society, Billy Graham. That's all folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. By the way, if you have any unused cash stashed away in secret bank accounts, precious gold bars, rare gems, priceless paintings, rare dinosaur bones, or asteroid pieces, luxury cars, private jets, or even an exotic island somewhere, please donate them to support this channel. Donation link is in description and pinned comment below. Become an author course if you are a newbie, I can coach you online to write a book with my self-paced video course. Publish your book if you have written a book and looking for a publisher, I can help you to self-publish it worldwide on Amazon, Apple, Kobo, Barnes & Noble, Google Play, Flipkart, etc., with my affordable assisted publishing service. Visit www.authorworld.com for details. Contact me at thegendra at yahoo.com and thegendrabs at gmail.com for more details. Thank you.